We are starting a new series on Celebrate Recovery. And so we're going to walk through the 12 steps over the next eight weeks. Amen. And we're going to do the whole program. We started out this week and we done the, the workbook stuff for step one. And we will do the same thing for step two. Uh, a couple of the weeks, we'll do two steps in, in one week. That's how we're going to do the 12 steps in eight weeks. In Celebrate Recovery, they took the 12 steps from the Beatitudes found in the book of Matthew. Yeah. And so that's where they believe the 12 steps come from, and that's what they use. So we'll be looking at the Beatitudes in the Bible. Step one, they says, we admit we're powerless over our human condition that our lives have become unmanageable. He said that they admit that they are powerless over their human condition. And we looked at, I had y'all to circle some things or underline some things that hopefully is up there. Uh, do me a favor. Go back there. He back there with his hands over his head and he, he lost his all get out. But anyway, uh, what what I need, what do I need to recover from? What do I need to recover from? Yeah. And so y'all circle some things. Somebody tell me a couple of things that you circled or underlined. Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, fear, anxiety, abuse, lying, uh, gambling, codependency. Yes, ma'am. You over there. Overeating, lying, drugs, and alcohol, guilt, anger, rage, insecurity, and hurtful relationships, the need to control, procrastination, wow. fear, anxiety, and overspending. Yeah. All right, one of you brothers. Yeah, overspending, uh, procrastination, lying, alcohol, and drugs. Mm. So, what we see here is, is that we got issues that's deeper than just our drug and alcohol problem that we need to recover from our human condition. Yeah. And so, whether you're in recovery or not, you can find some things on these sheets that you need to recover from, right? Amen. So it's not just drugs and alcohol, it's your human condition. That's right. It says, addictions are the result of avoiding pain in our lives by medicating with a substance activity or relationship yeah. they can dominate our thoughts feelings and behavior wow. they rob us of our energy hinder productivity destroy relationships and keep us in guilt shame and defeat yeah that's what addiction does that's right and at the core of it y'all addiction is just avoiding pain yeah. avoiding life that's really what it is. Right. And in that place, we put one of these things. Whether it's overeating, whether it's overspending, whether it's lying, really what we're doing is trying to avoid something. That's right. So our reality, it talks about powerlessness. The first thing they talks about on here is frustration. We will well aware of that, right? Yeah. And so what we're going to do is just walk through Romans 7 from 15 toward the end. Right. And what Paul was saying in Romans 7, he says, I don't understand myself at all, yeah. but I really want to do what is right, yeah. but I can't. I do what I don't want to do. Instead, I do the very thing that I hate. Yeah. We can understand that, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, if, if we didn't know that came from the Bible, we done said that to ourselves a whole bunch of times. Right. I really don't want to do X, but I do it anyway. Yeah. And I feel real frustrated when I do. Yeah. Whether that's eating, whether that's lying, whether that's cheating, whether that's stealing, whatever, right? right. We, we, that's a human condition. That's not a, that's not a drug and alcohol thing. That's a human condition. Yeah. You know, I really want to exercise, but my laziness yeah. and me not wanting to hurt, that's avoiding pain. See, exercising hurt. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's why I ain't got no six pack. I really, really want a six pack. I ain't talking about beer and soda either. I'm talking about right up the beer. I want a six pack. But guess what? I don't want to do the work, so I get frustrated. Yeah. Yeah. You know, y'all, y'all remember that old Lay's potato chip commercial? Yeah. Where he said you can't, you can't eat just one. Yeah. You know, I done tried that. Yeah. I bought me a pack of Oreo cookies yesterday. Wow. And I said, I'm going to get four. Yeah. And I went and got four, and I was sitting watching TV, and I said, well, I'm going to get four more. Yeah. Then I could watch it. Let me stop lying. Yeah. Let me just bring the whole pack uh. and set it on the couch where I am. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm having to walk too much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to eat all these cookies. So why am I playing with myself? Yeah. <clears throat> So we understand that, right? That's right. Number two is despair. In Romans 7 and 18, Paul says, For I know that nothing good lives in me. That is in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I can't, cannot carry it out. Wow. That's that despair. See, I start feeling real bad. And that's where the despair comes from yeah. because I really, really want to do what's good. Yeah. And family members always say this. They say he got a good heart and she got a good heart. Mm -hmm. And they judge us by what they perceive is our heart. Right. But the world judges us by action. It says that on page 61 in the big book that, you know what? I judge myself by my intentions. Yeah. But the world judges me by my actions. And so, I mean well, I just can't carry it out. And that's where the despair comes. After I done messed up, I feel real, real bad about myself. Yeah. You know, you know how y'all do when you say, you know what, I'm going to try to lose weight, and you eat a whole tub of ice cream, then you feel real bad, and you say, you know what, I need another tub to get over the tub that I had. <laughs> got to attack the bird people, you know. <laughs> they don't know they got some issues. Then the second one, third one is defeat, y'all. Defeat. Frustration, despair, defeat. Paul says, I can will it. He's talking about his intentions. I can will it, but I can't do it. I decide to do good, but I really, but I don't really do it. I decide not to do bad, but then I do it anyway. Yeah. My decisions, such as they are, don't result in action. Yeah, yeah. My decisions, yeah. the such, such as they are, that's this right here is Eugene Peterson. This right here is the message translation mm -hmm. of it. But he said, you know what? My decisions don't play itself out. That's right. But I mean well. That's right. I done bought gym memberships <laughs> all over the city. Every time a new gym come out, I go get a membership. Mm. And I'll never go longer than two or three months. You know, but I mean real well. Yeah, yeah. And I go buy all of this exercise gear, and I be pretty too, y'all. <laughs> I be the sharpest guy in the gym. I go buy the shoes, the shorts, the shirt. But don't none of that motivate me to get in the gym. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I feel real bad, and I miss a couple of times, and I stop going all together. Yeah. And then people still keep debiting my, my yeah. credit card. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I call them and say, I want to counsel. They say, okay, Mr. Bussy, but you got to write a letter to the corporate office. Wow. Like, I didn't have to write no letter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I signed up. Yeah. Well, they got game. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm on the exercise thing at home. Yeah, yeah. Ain't doing no better. She trying to see if no. I still have to. Stop looking at my stomach. And that's something she looked at my stomach and said, it ain't working. <laughs> Number four, fear. Fear. The big book says that I am driven by a hundred forms of fear. Yeah. It ain't talking about big dogs and snakes or heights either. We just have a whole bunch of fears in life. Yeah. Check out what Paul says in verse 20. He says, but if I am doing what I don't want to, 
I am not really doing it. The sin within me is doing it. And what he is saying is yeah. that something on the inside of him is driving him to do yeah. what he don't want to do. Yeah. What he realizes, it wasn't him. That's right. It was his sinful nature. That's right. And what I found out with this, y'all, is the part of me that I feed the most yeah. is the part of me that will be the strongest. That's right. And so if I want my spiritual self to grow, I got to feed myself spiritually. That's if right. I want my recovery part of me to grow, yeah. I got to do this with some intentionality. That's but guess what, y'all? The world feeds my sin nature automatically. Right. I don't have to do anything to be fed right. by that. Right. That's automatic. Because we in this sinful world, and I'm going to see stuff that's not healthy for me. Yeah, I'm going to hear stuff that's not healthy for me. Yeah. And so I have to fight that fight by intentionally avoiding things that ain't no good for me. Yeah. And intentionally putting myself in positive places to feed myself. That's right. With intentionality. Because yeah. I ain't going to automatically grow. Right. Pastor Smith used to say, just because you are on the premises, yeah. Don't, mean Don't mean nothing. Guess what? Y'all live at a church, yeah. but just living here ain't gonna do nothing for you. That's right. You're gonna have to get in the word on your own. You got to pick that big book up on your own. You got to pick that NA text up. Yeah. Just living here ain't gonna do nothing. Do nothing. Just living at a church don't do nothing. That's right. Just living at a program don't do nothing. That's right. And so we have this fear. And the and the what we need to understand, and I hear you on, that the victory is already won. That if God brought you here, yeah. it ain't no, it's not a matter of can I stay sober. The answer to that is yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just whether or not you're gonna put the work in. That's what the issue is. It. It's, it's not whether or not you can stay clean. Yes. Yeah. God wouldn't have brought you here if He didn't intend for you to get clean this time. That's right. But what He never takes from us, y'all, and hear this. His choice that he gave us in the book of Genesis. That's right. He don't take that away from us because that's how he determines whether or not we love him. Yeah. Is we have to choose him. Yeah. <coughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you know how they say we don't want nobody that don't nobody else want. Right. 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 Right? Yeah. When you go out and choose a boot. You don't choose a boo that don't nobody on earth want. Right, right. You leave them where they at. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Right? Yeah. You choose somebody something that somebody else wants, yeah. and you want them to choose you. Yeah. That's why Tony Braxton said, "Love yeah. should have brought you home last night." Yeah. See, women can tell you. See, us men are lying and say, "I love you." Yeah. Women say, "Uh huh." If you love me, yeah. you wouldn't be doing this. Or if you love me, you wouldn't say that. Women know that real well yeah. in relationships. Yeah. Yeah. They know that love is an action and it's not a verbal express something. Right? right. That's right. Yeah, they know that. Yeah. In relationships anyway. I don't know how they do it in their spiritual walk, but if you get in a relationship with one, yeah. they can tell you exactly what love is. Yeah. Women are never confused about that. No, 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 no. You know, no, no. Shoot. <laughs> my wife just went on, a, went on a business trip. She travels a lot and, and you know, the company paid for her parking and paid for her Uber to get to the airport and all that stuff. I said, well, baby, you know, don't you just call her Uber mm -hmm. to take you to the airport? And, you know, when you get home, bring me back home. That makes logical sense. She said, oh, no, I am married. Yeah. And love says yeah. my husband drops me off at the airport. Yeah. And love says he picks me up. Yeah. 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 what they got to do. And look at the women saying, yes. Yeah. I really didn't know. I didn't know. I'm like, <laughs> For a car that ain't got nothing to do. All the women, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> scratch that from the tape and scratch that from y'all No. Uh, but I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I probably knew, but yeah. I wanted convenient kind of love. You know, yeah. that, 
you know, it's going to pick you up, baby. That's right. <laughs> Didn't work. So I went and picked up and I took it, y'all, yeah. and all of that stuff. Yeah. Let the record show. But sometimes I got to be reminded, and sometimes yeah. we got to be reminded what love is. That's right. And what a, that it's not a feeling, it's an action. Make sense? That's right. The message translation says in Romans 7 and 20, some, some things have gone wrong deep within me and gets the better of me every time. Something. I like how, how Eugene Peterson says that something has gone wrong deep within me. And in the big book, in one of the last stories in there, the lady said that I had to get down to the root cause and conditioning of my problems. She says she never did react normally yeah. to life. Yeah. From her earliest existence, yeah. she never reacted normally. Yeah. And most of us, y'all, something went wrong deep within us. Yeah. And and family members, it, it don't mean you done something. It's just our reactions to life. My mom used to tell me when I was little, she said, boy, something is wrong with you. I just don't know what it is. Yeah. I'm talking about it in the, in the, in the, in the sand pit. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't like the other little kids in the sand pit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about at four, five years old, my mama knew. Yeah. Boy, you different. Yeah. <laughs> you ever been told that when you were little? Long before though, long yeah. before That's right. all of that, that it was something right. wrong with you. <laughs> that you didn't react normally yeah. Yeah. to life. To life. Right. Yeah. That your reactions were not normal. Yeah. Yeah. I was overly sensitive to criticism. Wow. All of that. Yeah. Early on. <laughs> normal. I'm and I had an addictive personality. <laughs> Yeah. I was selfish. Yeah. In the same pit. Yeah. Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> yeah. Well, nobody play with my toy, but I want to play with everybody else's toy. Yeah. 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 That's it. I earned my seat in here. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't happen to me when I got just because I got in the chronic stage of my addiction. Right. Something wrong with me early on. Early on. Early yeah. on. That's what we'll look at in step four. Let me hear you up. Misery. Mm. He says, what a wretched man that I am. Mm. Who will rescue me from this body of death? Right. Yeah. Now, Paul, at this point, then went into a state of depression. Yeah. He said, what yeah. a wretched man yeah. that I am. Yeah. Ain't that tough? He knew it was something wrong with us. Yeah. See, that's step one. Step one says, I admit that I'm powerless. See, you can't get clean unless you admit that you got a serious, serious problem. You know, that you got to say, I'm a, I'm a wretched person. Yeah. See, we don't want to call out our human condition. Yeah. We try to save our face and our hind parts at the same time. No, you got to tell the truth about how ugly you are. That's right. And how wretched you are. Yeah. Yeah. How wretched you are. And we don't wanna we don't want to tell anybody how wretched we are. We try to dress up, make up, and fix up, you know. You know the old saying, you can put lipstick on a pig and it's still a pig. That's what we want to do. We want to come in here and put lipstick on our recovery and think that means that we no, you still a pee. Still a pee. Yeah. Yeah, you still a pee? Yeah. Possible responses. Number one, my problem is not that bad. Mm. Don't we say that? Yeah. We try to find somebody else that's a little worse than us. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we can say at least I'm not that. Yeah. Yeah. At least I'm not that. That's right. I do that. But guess what? Until you admit it, you'll keep going out. And I love that when the people come in and say, I didn't do that, I didn't do that. Then they go back out there and they come back and they say, now nah, I done done it. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> in the 12 by 12, it says that you don't have to go through all of that. That's 
Right. It goes, it talks about that I can recover with with a with two cars in the garage mm -hmm. and all of that. Step one raises the bottom up to hit me. Yeah. So I ain't gotta hit the bottom. Yeah. When yeah. I can get honest enough to admit complete defeat. I don't have to go out and do all of that stuff. That's right. But my pride and my ego won't allow me sometimes. Oh and so I try to to find some some people worse than me to make yeah. myself feel good. Yeah. No, you a wretch. Yeah. Call it where you are so that you ain't got to go and experience that. That's that makes right. sense? That's right. And if you can't admit it, you got to go out and live that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you ain't got to do that. That's why, let me, let me say this. In step 1 and 12 by 12, it says, why all of this at insistence yeah. that every AA must hit bottom? Yeah. Then it talks about because they will not have enough willingness yeah. to repeatedly practice these principles yeah. in, the, in the areas of their life. That's right. Until I get to that point where I didn't hit bottom and then I may ask for yeah. some help. Yeah. Second one, that's fine, but I can solve my problem. Mm -hmm. When yeah. I think that I can fix this situation, I ain't got to step one. Right. You can't fix you. That's right. God made us as relational beings, yeah. and you need some help yeah. from somebody else other than you. Yeah. You can't fix this. That's right. You know. Shoot. I tried fixing that cookie problem yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna eat before. <laughs> I'm gonna get four more. Yeah. And I normally blame my wife when my cookie count get low. But she was out of town, y'all. And when I went in there and I looked and they was almost all gone, I looked around, I said, Who ate all these cookies? <laughs> but it wasn't nobody in the house but me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I said, oh, wretched man yeah. that I am. Yeah. 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 Now, she probably ain't been stealing them. Now, she'll go buy. Now, this may be on, on that page, too. She'll go buy my snacks. Right. And I don't want to let her eat none of them. <laughs> That's right. That's what right. issue is that? That's right. That's right. Is that selfish? Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Is it? But they mine, mine, mine. Yeah. Ain't none of y'all got a mine problem? Oh, yeah. Am I the only one? All of the mine people raise their hand. I want to see who y'all are. <laughs> mine, mine, mine. If it's mine, I want to share. Ain't that right? Yeah, that is something. That's right. That's right. When my kids were small, kids can hear a candy wrapper. Yeah. From across the world. Yeah. 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 You know. And I would go in, in the room and I'd be trying to ease it open. they like, German chef, daddy, give me some. I'm like, yeah, how did y'all hear? Can you do that? Can you hear? You hear can You can't hear. You can hear candy rapper. Yeah. I'd be like, give me some. And I found out that, you know what? I'm a grown man, yeah. and I'm trying to sneak yeah. and hide and eat this stuff because I don't want to share it with my own children. Yeah. There may be something wrong with that too, huh? Yeah. Is that on there too, or is that still yeah. self? Yeah. Yeah. Selfish. Yeah. But I ain't by myself. No. Because they eat all theirs and then want some mine. I'm, <laughs> you smoke up all that cigarettes and smoke mine. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Our problem, our problem, y'all, is sin. Yeah. At the end of the day, y'all, it's not that I got an addiction problem, or I got an eating problem, or I got a selfish problem. What I really have is a sin problem. That's really what it is. I got a sin problem. Satan told Eve, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, mm. knowing good 
and evil. Mm. He lied. Yeah. He lied. Yeah. And that's where sin came in because at the end of the day, we try to be God. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's really what it is. Not God with the with the big G. Yeah. God with the little G. Yeah. We don't yeah. think that we are God with the big G. What right. do you mean? Right. We don't think we split the seasons. We didn't. We know that we didn't create the world, right? right? right. <clears throat> we know that. Right. Yeah. I just want to be the God of my own life. Oh, my. That's that's the God we want to be. Yeah. That I think I know what's best for me and best for everybody else. And when you think that, you become God yeah. with the little G. Yeah. When you think you know more than God. Than God. Yeah. Yeah. When me as an addict try to go out of here and do the program my way mm -hmm. instead of working the way that the Word of God says and working the program the way that the literature says. When I say, I don't need to go to no meetings, I don't need to go to church, yeah. I don't need to do all that, I'm going to do it my way. Yeah. I have become yeah. God yeah. In, my life. in my life. And we see how well that has worked for That's us. Right. We try to control. First thing we try to control is our image. Mm. I try to control my image. I want to control how people see me. Because I don't want people to, to know how wretched I am. Yeah. Second thing I try to control is other people. Uh, it's amazing how we run the world from the Golden Gate Adult Rehabilitation yeah. Ministry from that phone. Yeah. Family members, we think we can run your life yeah. from that phone. But well, we think we are more important than we really are. Yeah. 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 I gotta call my kids. I gotta do this. Yeah. I gotta call my yeah. wife. I gotta call my mama. I gotta call them. And we wanna give instructions from the treatment center. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You can't run the world from the treatment center. That's right. That's right. You ain't gonna be able to run it when you get out of there. That's right. I found out that my wife told me what her definition of submission is gracious cooperation. Gracious cooperation. Yeah. She said that's what submission is. Mm. Because I want to run her. Mm. She said no baby, submission is gracious cooperation. Yeah. Gracious cooperation. Gracious cooperation. Yeah, that's all it is, baby. Yeah. You're not running nothing. Yeah. yeah. I just yeah. graciously cooperate yeah. when I want yeah. to. Yeah. yeah. But even then, yeah. you ain't running nothing. You ain't running nothing. <laughs> and I ain't running my kids either. No. No. They graciously cooperate too yeah. when they get ready. Yeah. I'm the program director, but I ain't running y'all either. That's right. It's gracious cooperation yeah. with that. Yes, sir. Only thing I can do is decide whether you sleep here tonight or not. That's right. But other than that, I ain't got no power. That's right. I got the power to determine whether you sleep here. Yeah. But other than that, I ain't got no power. Yeah. Yeah. When I first came in the ministry 20 years ago, I thought I could will, pray, and threaten y'all into sobriety. <laughs> and I figured out that the only thing I can do is prepare, yeah. pray, yeah. and teach. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's all I need. Yeah. Is pray, yeah. prepare, yeah. and teach. Yeah. And whether you stay clean after that is on you. <clears throat> but I can't make you stay clean. That's right. Third thing we try to control is our problems. Wow. Wow. Have you ever tried to control some of your problems? Mm -hmm. How well did that work out for you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we try to control our problems mm -hmm. or minimize our problems. Mm -hmm. Y'all, most of the time when, when my problems get out of hand, me sticking my hands in it only make my problems worse. Yeah. 
It says on, on, on page 452 when it talks about expectations, it's I just do what's in front of me to be done and leave the results up to God. That's all I can do is just do what's in front of me to be done and then say, you know what? I can't do no more. Lord, I've done all I can. I turn this over to you. Fourth thing we try to control is our pain. We try to control our pain. You can't control your pain.